How you doing today, Kate? Good? Thumbs up. Well, I'm going to give people a minute or so to hop in if they want. I'm trying to fix my screen. I don't think it's going to work. Um, and then we'll get warmed up. Uh, um, so it is a dumbbell strength class, so believe it or not, we're gonna need some dumbbells, um, and then uh, the rest of the stuff will be body weight. Um, if you have a different, um, if you have a couple of different weights of dumbbells, that will uh, help as well. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty fun. I'm gonna start getting warmed up now. If you have any questions or anything you just want to chat or all, you feel free to unmute yourself. Boom! So we'll start with those arm circles. I'm gonna get a better view here. Yeah, turn this up a little bit. Boom! There we go. Happy Wednesday. I looks like a, another good day to continue the week. So uh, I've been definitely getting outside a lot more this week and we'll reverse those circles, which is really nice. But I am like crisping up. I, have, I already have a farmer's stand. I usually don't get a farmer's stand until a little bit later in the year, but I already got it going on. And we'll do some chest openers. Oh. And we'll swim through the air here. So just a quick little warm up. We'll do a core warm up like usual. And then we'll get into some of the fun stuff. A little bit of uh, strength and a little bit of conditioning mixed in there today. We're gonna do some rotations, but we're lifting up that back foot. Warm up the back and the legs. So yeah, it should be a little cardio and a little strength. Should be fun. Oh, Heather, hello. Warren. We're just getting warmed up, no rush at all. <laughs> those are helpful, I need those. And we're gonna go with some body weight squats here. Let's go all the way down, but we're just getting the legs warmed up a little bit. Ooh. So Heather, this is dumbbell strength workout. So if you do have, do have dumbbells, be helpful. If you have a few different kinds of dumbbells weights, that'll be helpful as well. Uh, and just a couple more here. And we'll get to the side lunge. Boom, so we're set the side. And pulse there if you want, a little stretch. Boom. And going to the other side. Whew. Let's do a couple more here. One to each side. And we'll call it a call it a warm up. And last one here. All right. We'll grab that mat and we'll get started with our core stuff. So on the forearms. In that plank position, we're here, feet together, we're squeezing the butt, squeezing the core. We have 30 seconds. Putting that up. All right, ready, and go. Boom. 
So this is dumbbell strength, but it will have a little cardio to it. Um, we'll hop back and forth between a couple different moves. And uh, we, should have, we should have a fun time. It should be a bunch of fun. Just keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Next one, we can do the same thing for popping up on the hands. Same plank, but we're on the hands. Just like this. All right, and ready, and go. Boom. Perfect, perfect. Keep squeezing a little bit longer. Five, four, three, two, and done. You can drop that. We're gonna go into a side plank now. Same thing on the forearm, elbow, stacking the feet, or you have a knee bend. We're lifting up the hip. Oh, 30 seconds. Ready, and go. Boom. Get that hip up as high as we can. Nice work, nice work. Boom. A few more seconds here, a few more seconds. Three, two, one, and drop it. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're just gonna flip it. Just gonna flip it. Ready, and lift it up. I finally got a haircut, so I don't have a mop on my head anymore. This is like one of the longest times I've ever gone without getting a haircut. My hair was like 30 times longer than it really has ever been, or ever really needed to be. A few more seconds here. Three, two, one, and drop. Last one, we'll finish up with the bed bugs on our back. We're squeezing the core. Have our hands and legs in the opposite direction, just like that. Ready, and go. So last 30 seconds here of our core warm up and then we'll get we'll get into the dumbbell stuff. Boom. Nice. Nice. Nice and controlled. A few more seconds here. Three, two, one, and done. Grab a quick drink if you need it. And then we'll uh I'll explain to you what's going on in this next round. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to go through um, five different exercises. We're going to go through them twice. Um, we have 30 seconds. Half of them are going to be strength. Um, a couple are going to be cardio and uh, core. So with your dumbbells, our first move here, is we're just gonna be doing a dumbbell curl. Cool. So grab a good weight, do a curl. We're going 30 seconds. After that, we'll put the dumbbells down. And we're gonna go to a cardio move. Um, it's gonna be lateral, um, lateral high knees. So we got the high knees up like we're going over the hurdles. So then we got a few more, but I'll just give you those two for now. We'll start with those dumbbell curls. Ready and go. Boom. There you go. Perfect, perfect. So we got two rounds through five different exercises. Um, it's gonna be a little upper body, a little lower body, a little cardio, and a, a little bit of core. Um, so we get a pretty much full body workout with the dumbbells. Boom. Perfect. Let's keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, and done. I'm gonna put those dumbbells Right off the side, don't put them too far, we'll need them again. 
then we got a little cardio move here. Get our heart rate up a little bit. So we got, we're going right side, side, almost like side shuffles, except we're getting the knee up. So we're going like over her, right from one side or to the other side. Just like that. 30 seconds, a little cardio move. Ready, and go. Perfect, perfect. Just like we're going over a little hurdle. Just like we're going over a little hurdle. Nice work. Boom, boom. We get those knees up. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Boom. So next one, we're gonna hop on our backside with our mat or rug or whatever we're laying on. We have a dumbbell chest press. So we're here. And we're pressing up. If your weights are a little, if your weights are a little too uh, late for this, and you don't feel like it's gonna work out, we can do chest flies. Come right up to the side. Those are two options. And then we'll pop up on the feet and we have another cardio move after, all right? 30 seconds. In position and go. So you either dumbbell chest presses or flies if your weights are not heavy enough. Boom, you guys got it. Looks good, looks good. 30 seconds here. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one, and done. We'll toss those weights to the side and we'll pop it on up. So we went to the side with the first one. We're going forward with this one. So we have forward high knees and then backward high knees. Boom. All right, so we went side to side last time. We're going forward and back this time. 30 seconds, ready, and go. Perfect. Get those knees up, get those knees up. Awesome, awesome. Keep working, keep working, almost there. Nice, nice. Five, four, three, two, and done. Boom. Last one, we got a little core, a little core to finish it. So um, with your dumbbell, a um, couple options here. We're gonna do plank, uh, pull across. So we're on our hands, we're gonna land our toes up, feet can be a little lighter. We're gonna take our opposite hand and drag this to across the body. <clears throat> so we're going back and forth, pulling across both ways. So we just need one weight. So we're in that plank position and we're pulling it across our body. If, if uh, you, your weight's too heavy, we can just do shoulder taps. All right, 30 seconds and go. So we're in that plank position, feet a little bit wider, and we're pulling the weight um, from one side to the other. We're not really. Um, we're going from the weight on the opposite. I can't even explain it with the <laughs> how to. You're pretty much you're dragging it across. If you're like pushing it towards the other hand, that's that's the wrong way. Boom! Nice, nice. That's perfect. Let's keep that corner nice and tight. A nice tabletop position. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, grab a quick drink. That's first round through. We're going through all that all one more time here. So we're gonna start with the curls once again here. So we're going back to the curls and then we got the lateral high knees afterwards. Boom. All right, 30 seconds. We're ready and go. Boom. There you go. First curl in there. I don't know what it is, but whenever I talk a lot in the morning, my mouth gets so dry. 
And it's only on these morning workouts. I have no idea why. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Put those weights off the side. We got lateral, those lateral high knees. Boom. Going back to our cardio move. 30 seconds and go. Don't trip over our weight. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Way to get those knees up. Way to get those knees up. See how high we can get them up. You can put your hand out front of you if you want to. See if you can hit them. See if you can hit your uh, knees to your hands. Boom. Boom. Nice work. Nice, nice, nice. We keep the feet nice and quick. Getting those knees up. Three, two, one, and done. Grab our dumbbells. We're going back on our back. We have our chest presses. We have our dumbbell chest presses. Right. Remember, if your weights are a little too light, we can do chest flies. All right, hop in position. All righty, and go. Perfect. Nice work, nice work. Boom, 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 boom. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and done. Boom, well, we'll put those weights off to the side. We're going back to those forward knees. Boom, there we go, getting those knees up as quick as we can. All right. Last little cardio move, and go. Boom. Getting those knees up, and we're cruising back and forth. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Boom. Boom. 30 seconds here, we're almost up, almost up. Five, four, three, two, and done. We're gonna hop on the floor, grab our weight. We're doing our pull across. So we're, we're squeezing the core, we're squeezing the glutes, and then we're working on our balance, not making sure our hips don't rotate, and we're dragging that right across. All right, 30 seconds, and go. Boom, perfect, perfect, perfect. Last exercise of this round here. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Boom. Three, two, one, and done. Boom. Round uh, one is complete. Have a quick drink if you need it. A couple options. If you have light, lighter dumbbells, Grab them, that would be perfect for this next one. If not, if you have only heavy dumbbells, I'll show you what, what we're doing. Um, so, if you have light enough dumbbells, we're gonna have them right at our side, or a little bit in front of us, and we're just coming to the side. We're doing side raises. So we're bringing out just to shoulder height. If your dumbbells are a little too heavy, um, the only ones you have on hand, what we're gonna do is we'll do a shoulder press here. So we're pressing right up overhead. So if you got lighter with dumbbells, side raises is perfect. If you only have, if you only have heavy dumbbells, we'll do a shoulder press. All right, thirty seconds, we're ready, and go. Boom, boom. So you don't have to bend over too much. You keep it kind of right at your side. Now we're coming right up to the top. Boom. Boom. 
Nice. Making, making like a T. Boom. Boom. A few more seconds here. A few more seconds here. Three, two, one, and done. Boom. Sorry, I, I had this not working earlier. Next one, we'll put the dumbbells to the side for a second. Um, this next one here, um, we got a little cardio move, a little conditioning. So we got the feet out wide and we're going in and out loud. That's our first cardio move. Our second cardio move is gonna be just the opposite. We're going up, up, down, down. So for this first round, we're doing in, in, out, out. So we got that, 30 seconds. It is a little bit wider and go. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. So quick feet here. Quick feet. It doesn't matter. It's all right. It, it, whatever one, we're, gonna, we're just going to do the opposite next time. So it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. Boom. Perfect. Just a little over. We have about five seconds left here. And done. Boom. Next one, we're grabbing our dumbbells again. You either grab one in your hand like this. Boom, we're gonna put two at your side. Or we got a goblet squat. So we're pushing hips back. Boom. Or coming back up. Goblet squat. Boom. We're ready. And go. Boom. Boom, there you go. Pushing those hips back, keeping the chest upright. Picture perfect form for both of you right there. Awesome, awesome. We have 30 seconds here. And we've got another conditioning one. Boom, perfect, perfect. Five, four, three, two, and done. Toss those dumbbells to the side. And now we got the opposite move. So if we did in in out uh, last time, we're gonna do front front or up up down down. Boom. We're just keeping that quick feet. All right, ready and go. Boom. It's almost like we're matching. We're stepping over a line here. Perfect. Perfect. Almost there. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Oh, nice work, nice work. Our last move here is our core move. So you can do this with a dumbbell or without a dumbbell. But we're on our backside. We did dead bugs earlier. Now we're going to be doing double dead bugs or full extensions. So we have the dumbbell. And knees close in, and we're coming out. Back. Boom. And if your weight's too heavy, you can do this with just your body weight. All right. So get in position, on our back. Ready. And go. Boom. That's good right there. Try to extend the legs out as far as you can. The closer to the ground they are, the harder it gets. Boom, that's perfect, that's perfect. Ten seconds left, ten seconds left. Keep squeezing. Three, two, one, and done. Toss that weight to the side. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We're going back to that first one of this round, which was our dumbbell side raise. So we're standing up nice and tall. We're bringing it right up to the side. We're bringing it right up to the side, right to shoulder height. All right. Right here, lifting right straight up. 30 seconds. And go. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. You guys got it, you guys got it.
you know, the shoulders are feeling it a little bit. But this is really, really the only, uh, the only shoulder one we got. Shoulder one we got. So we gotta give them a little love sometimes. Can't forget about that. Boom, almost there. Three, two, one, and done. We can toss those to the side. We're going back to our in, in, out, out. We need to say it out loud, we can, because I need to say it out loud there. I was struggling. All right, 30 seconds, and go. Boom, perfect, perfect. Getting that cardio up. Boom, boom. So 30 seconds of this one. And then I got a few more to follow up with. Boom, keep crushing it, keep crushing it. Three, two, one, and relax. Grab that dumbbell in a goblet or we grab two when our shoulders are by our sides, and we're just pushing hips back, squatting down, and exploding right up. 30 seconds, and go. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Whew. You just wait. Those legs are going to get a good little, good little workout in the next couple, couple exercises. Perfect. Three, two, one, and done. Dumbbells to the side. We went in, in, out, out last time. We're going up, up, down, down. Almost like we're stepping over a line. All right, we're ready. And go. Boom. Perfect, perfect. Crushing this one, getting a pretty good mix. Oh, keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and done. Boom. Last one. We're on our backside again. We got our full extension or our double dead bugs with the weight. If the weight is too heavy, you don't have to use it. You can do it just with her body weight. All right, in position, 30 seconds, and go. Boom, perfect, just like that, just like that. Boom, boom. 30 seconds here, then we're down with round number two. Five, four, three, two, and done. Toss that dumbbell to the side, grab a quick drink if you need it. Boom. Round number two is complete. So our next exercise here, First one coming up. We can do this. We don't have to use dumbbells for this, but we have, we have both dumbbells um, in our hands and we have either a walking lunge or just lunge in place. We're coming, okay. So this is our weighted exercise with the dumbbells. Either, either a walking lunge or just a forward lunge and back. 30 seconds, and go. Boom. Boom, that's perfect. We get low, we get low key, that's great. Heather walked out of the camera. It's all right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And a few more seconds here. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, 
and uh, toss those dumbbells to the side for a second. So last round, we did steps and then out. Oh, oh. This round, we have hops. So we're starting, we're starting with um, forward and back hops here. And then the next round, we have side to side hops. Oh. So sorry, not our cardio move with a little bit of balance work. So our first one we got here, we're going with our forward and back little hops. And if you don't want to hop, you can do the forward and back again. 30 seconds. Ready? And go. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Just like we're jumping over that line once again. Boom. So I've been saying, I've been realizing this a lot lately is there's a few words that I always go to and I don't know if Adam's the same way, but I say, I, you, you probably notice way more than, than I do, but there, there's like three or four words I notice I say all the time. One of them being is recently out of blue is just boom. I just say boom and I have no idea why, but I've been doing a lot recently and relax those jumps. Boom. Next one. See, I just did it again. I was happy then. Our next strength one here is we're going to be in a little bent over position, almost like we're doing a uh, deadlift, but we're holding this position here and we have a row. So our, my palms are facing each other. It's going down and squeezing. So just like, just like we're elbowing the person behind us. So we might need to put a little bit hinge in the hips, but our knees are bent. So we're here. We're pulling straight up. 30 seconds. And go. Boom. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Looking good. Crushing it. Crushing it. Now I'm like self-conscious about what I say. And I'm trying not to say boom and all these other things. And I think I still, I, I probably still say them when I'm like not even thinking about it. But I feel like I start like telling how I tell people to go and how I tell them to stop are very similar. I feel like that might be a thing everybody does. but. I've only now become aware of like my repetitive words. I need to open up my vocabulary or something. Give me a couple more good ones here. Three, two, one, and done. Put those weights to the side. So last time we went forward and back. This time we're going side to side. Boom, just like this. All right, 30 seconds. And go. Boom. And if you don't want to hop, we can go back to the in and out. Oops. Nice work. Let's keep those hops up. Keep those hops up. 30 seconds here. Sun's deciding to shine through a little bit. Boom. Almost there. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. So next one, you don't need weights for this one. It's our next core move. We're gonna be on the hands and knees and we're gonna be reaching out with opposite leg, opposite knee, we have bird dogs. Boom, so we're here. We're holding it for a second and we'll come back. It's not a move like this, we're going just out. Oh no. If you want to make it a little harder, you can do this in the plank position. Um, so if you're in a plank with the feet a little wider, same thing. You're working on the stability a little bit, a little bit harder. Boom. So 30 seconds here. Ready and go. Boom. So we're keeping that core squeeze and we're working on that balance. Trying to make sure uh, we're stable enough to not fall over when remove our leg and our arm. So 30 seconds here, then we got another round through. Boom, crushing it, crushing it. A <clears throat> few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right. 
pop it on up. We got one more run through. Grab a quick drink if you need it. So our first one was that dumbbell lunge. So grabbing our dumbbells, or we can do it without. We're doing either the lunge in place or a walking lunge. All right, ready and go. Boom! Perfect way to way to get low on those. It's crazy. I was gone for a week here. I was in Bangor for a week. I went up north. This is a family and that sort of stuff. And I come back and there's like all the trees are like fully, all the leaves and everything on that in like a week. I just feel see right out back side of my house. <coughs> I used to have, um, I have like a line of trees, but I used to be able to see right through them. I can see all the way back. Three two, one, and relax. But now they're all like in bloom and leaves on them and it's like obstructed now. All right, so we're going back to our hops. We got our forward and back hops first. Boom. 30 seconds. And go. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. Thirty seconds, couple cardio rounds here. Boom. Perfect, perfect. Five, four, three, two, and done. Boom, perfect. We're gonna grab those dumbbells once again. Or in that as the position here and we're rolling we're rolling <clears throat> all right we're ready and go boom perfect keep that back nice and flat i'm pushing hips back perfect perfect 30 seconds here boom Squeezing our shoulder blades, almost like we're elbowing somebody behind us. Five, four, three, two, and done. Toss those dumbbells to the side. We're gonna do a little cardio, a little cardio. So last time we went forward and back, we're going side to side. One little hops. And go. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Last little cardio move. We got one core one and then we're done. Round number three. Boom. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. A few more here, a few more. Three, two, one and done. Last one, we have our bird dog. So hands and knees on the mat, reaching out with the opposite leg, opposite arm, just like boom, pushing the walls apart from between us. Um, Adam likes to compare it to a Jackie Chan movie. All right, 30 seconds and go. Boom. We're squeezing the core. Trying to let our body rotate when we remove the bases of support. Perfect. Nice work. Nice work. <clears throat> Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and done. Boom. Round number three is complete. Grab a drink if you need it. We got one more round here. We got one more round here. So, first one here. <clears throat> you can either grab this, your weight, just like last time, like it, or not. Yeah, no, two rounds ago. In a 
goblet or you can carry both on your shoulders or at your side. What we have here is we have a little side lunge. So we're standing like this and we're going back and down, up and back up. We're keeping the opposite leg straight, bending that leg we're going down on. Holding the weight like a goblet, we have a side lunge. Side lunge is our first move here. So we got 30 seconds. Alrighty, and go. Boom, perfect. So we're keeping the chest up and we're sinking down and back. Perfect, perfect. Looking good. <clears throat> almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> so our cardio move this round is a little explosiveness. So our, our first option here, is we have a broad jump, sticking landing, running back. If we don't want to jump, we can just do quick runs forward and back. So we're going forward and then right back. So we either got broad jumps or the quick runs forward and back. Our second exercise will be a similar thing. We're doing, we got little ski jumps, boom, forward and then back. But if we don't want to do that, we got diagonal run and diagonal run. So those are our options for our cardio one. So starting with the broad jump first. All right. So we're here. Explosive stick and landing and then running back. All right. 30 seconds. And go. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Make sure we're sticking the landing. Boom. I'm gonna land with soft knees and sink down a little bit. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. Nice, nice landing. We also don't wanna fall through a, a window when we're doing that either. A few more seconds, a few more seconds. Boom. Three, two, one, and done. Next strength move. Grabbing our dumbbells again, or a kettlebell if you have it, we're doing deadlift. So we're pushing the hips back, bend the knees, going down, back up. Boom. So we're sliding the weights down the front of our legs, and back as far as we can. Push those hips backwards. All right. 30 seconds. And go. Just like that. Just like that. Crushing it. Crushing it. 30 seconds here. We got another cardio move. <coughs> Excuse me, bless me. Oh, you can breathe now. Three, two, one, and relax. My allergies usually are not too bad, but I've been like outside and around a bunch of fires lately. Like campfires, and I like know my sinuses are like on fire. So next one we're going to, we got that ski jump for Salem, Salem jump. So we're going here, diagonally, going diagonally. We're going forward and then we're going backwards. But if you don't want to hop like that, we just got, you can do a little runs. Boom. And back. All right. 30 seconds. Ready. And go. Boom. Like that. We're going diagonal. Nice quick feet, Kate. Okay. Other way, stick that landing. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Two more seconds here. Three, two, one, and done. The last exercise 
for the first time through here. We're gonna be on our backside. The core is nice and tight, pressing down into the mat. We've got the legs out in front of us, and we're just fluttering. We got some leg flutters. We wanna try keeping the legs straight as we can and point the feet towards our head. You can put your hands under your hips if you need a little support. Or lower back. 30 seconds and go. Boom. Just like that. This is uh this is our first round through. Right, for this we got one more. One more. Keep it up, keep it up. The lower, the closer to the ground we are, the harder it gets. Boom. Relax the neck. Crushing it. Here's crushing it. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and done. Perfect, perfect. All right, hop back up on up. Grab a drink if you need it. We're going back to that side lunge. So grab your dumbbells, two in hand, one hand, how are you gonna do it? And we're just sinking low. Perfect. We'll give a uh, Another second to do her hair. Okay, you can get some steps in before. All right, ready, and go. Perfect, perfect. So one more round through here, and that's it. One more round through. See what she got, see what she got this last round. Five, four, three, two, and done. We'll pop those, put those to the side. Remember our move here is the broad jump with a run back, or we can just run forward and back. So our two options. Ready, and go. Boom, sticking that landing. You guys got it, you guys got it. There you go. There you go. Sit out landing with a quick run back. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Give me a couple more good ones. Couple more good ones. Three, two, one, and done. Grab those dumbbells once again. We got the deadlift. So sinking them down the front of our legs, pushing hips back, keeping the back flat, and then popping right back up. All right. 30 seconds. And go. Boom. So we're pushing those hips back. A little slight bend in our knees. Perfect. Perfect. Heather, you got the heavy dead kettlebell, looks like. Boom. It's awesome right there. Crushing it. <clears throat> halfway down, halfway down. I swear, Kate. What do you get? Fully extend. Perfect, perfect. Three, two, one, and done. We'll put those off to the side. Put those off to the side. Going back to our, our, our ski jumps or our, our runs, we're going on a diagonal, stick and landing, and right back. All right, 30 seconds, and go. Boom, perfect, perfect. There it is again, I just said, I just said boom. I wasn't even thinking, I wasn't even thinking. <coughs> boom, second house landings. Keeping those feet nice and quick. Always moving, always moving. Five, four, three, two, and done. Last one here. We're on our backside and we have our leg flutters. We're on our backside, we have our leg flutters. It's our last move right here. 30 seconds left to see what you got. All right, so we're squeezing that core, keeping it nice and tight. Legs fully extended. And go. 
Boom. Closer to the ground, harder it gets. So 30 seconds here. Boom. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Almost there, almost there. In three, two, one, and relax. Boom. You guys crush that. You guys crush that. Grab a drink if you need it. You can bridge it out and stretch the core. You can do that too. We're going to get started with some other stretching. So grab a drink if you need it. And come have a seat on that. First thing we'll do, we'll sit feet together as per usual. Oh, we can pull the toes in, lean forward a bit. So that was that was class uh, one of, um, I want to say four. I think got four more coming at you. We got a, we got a nine o'clock hybrid, 12 o'clock core class, and uh, a uh, five o'clock resistance band, I think. So off the top of my head, I can't really remember for sure. But a full slate if you want to join us again. Um, and as always, these will be recorded. Pop, put a leg out in front of us. It's always recorded, so if you ever want to check one out or do this one again, whatever it is, it'll be there right on YouTube. And we'll switch legs here. Keep stretching. I'm just gonna go and unmute you guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, Kate, what's on the agenda today? Um, work at eight, and hopefully a nice little walk at lunchtime. Like that. That sounds uh like a pretty good day. Yep. Working from home. I'm loving it. Loving it, working from home, yeah. That's I didn't think I didn't think I would. I really didn't think I would, but I'm loving it. Classes with you guys in the morning and shower right downstairs, and here I am. <laughs> it's great. A pretty good routine right there. Yeah. The thing for me is routine. When I, especially being home all day, if I'm in like the same area the entire day, it would just like I don't know, it would drive me nuts. So I like <laughs> if I'm doing work. Um, depending on what I'm doing and if I'm relaxing or something, I don't know. It's uh, but I find that I do get cool. Like I didn't think I was gonna like it because I didn't think I do. I would get much work done, but I find that I get quite a bit of work done. Um, I'm a little more focused on the schedule because they like pre-record all of our lectures and just give them to us. So that's one thing that's nice. That's great. Are you in a um, summer session, Noah? Yeah, I was technically supposed to be on clinical right now, um, but obviously they really didn't want us going on clinical right, right this time, so so they uh, postponed it and then they moved it to the fall, like late fall. Yep. And then if uh, um, and then they took the classes there that we would have been having during that time and like pretty much put them in the right now. Um, what they actually oh, they only took half the classes that we would be taking and, move, and then moved them to both accelerated courses. So there, there's seven weeks in the summer and then we have seven weeks when school starts, um, which is like the best case scenario, but um, it does make it not that fun that we have a yeah. bunch of classes right now, right at summer starting, but I don't know, can't complain. So your program will still hopefully as long as clinical work will still end when it's supposed to yes yes that was the one thing everybody was afraid of is we'd have to go an extra semester or something like yeah. that um but that's not the case good yeah um, i'm excited about that um that's the biggest thing we do have to go back like a week early and we'll round it out pull the shoulder blades apart we do have to go like a week early to finish our lab courses we didn't get to finish from last semester but they're completely ungraded. Um, it's all just like 
for our learning purposes, so it's really nice. Um, yeah. How many people are in your program? We started with around 45, and we're at 38 now. Well, that's a good number. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice because, like, the, all the faculty, it's, like, you, everybody has an advisor, and I think there's, so there's four, uh, I'm trying to count all the faculty, there's probably about eight PT teachers, um, and so with 38 students, you get, like, they divide them up between all, like, all of them, and you get pretty much, you're pretty focused with your, your advisor and that sort of stuff, so it is nice. That's great. I have a cousin who graduated probably three years ago now from that program, and she um, she got a job directly out yeah. of school. Yeah, right. in the Portland area, but hmm. that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Well, thanks everybody for joining me this dumbbell workout. Thank you. We're good. Good day. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks, Bye. Noah. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, Kate. Have a good day.